started in 1979, some of the businessmen in town uh, decided we needed something to extend the tour season. They guaranteed $1,000 per business that if we needed, they would put the money up. They've never had to put any money up. The tournament has been successful from the very beginning. We'd like to say it's one of the largest King Michael tournaments on the East Coast. Over the past several years, we have seen a tremendous growth in the number of boats. This year, we had 562 boats register for our tournament. We have a tremendous number of dedicated volunteers that help with this tournament. Most of those are our chamber members, and they volunteer their time to come out, help out with the tournament, whether it's out on the dock, helping weigh fish, helping document everything that needs to be done when, once the fish come up. It takes a lot of dedicated folks uh, to put this tournament on and make it the success that it is. I've been involved with the tournament for about 12 years. Uh, my first experience with the tournament was the 30th anniversary. I just volunteered and helped out and I did that for two or three years, then I was asked to join the Board of Directors, and I've been on the Board of Directors ever since. I was chairman of the tournament five years ago, and two years, and, and I continue to be on the Board of Directors now. The past couple of years, I stepped up to take over as Waymaster. It's a lot of fun, and it's just a fun event. Since 1979, the area has seen a tremendous growth in population, subdivisions have developed, and uh, at the same time, the tournament has grown over the years. This year, we had 562 boats, which is a record for the tournament. If we could have more than 400 boats, then we were happy. Several times, we've gotten above the 500 mark, but we've never hit the 562 before. Some of the things that stood out this time were bigger fish this year than we had last. A lot of the boats actually weighing multiple fish. Uh, it seems like in years past, you know, everybody was looking for the one big one, but now some folks are starting to concentrate on the special weight prizes that we have every year, and there's a good number of those, as well as the aggregate prize. It's great for everybody because you don't have to catch the big one in, in order to win some money, to get your name up in the lights, so to speak. Really great morning. Can't yeah. complain. Weather was perfect. Uh, didn't get beat up. Can't complain at all. Fishing our first tournament. So having a great time. Fish was good. Fish was good. A little spotty at first this morning, but it turned out all right. Pretty nice. Good deal. Yeah. No, I only caught the small one, but and I helped on the big one. Okay. Well, the story was it was turned out a little slow day and we switched the spot and we got onto a couple of smaller ones right away, but we had a great time. Great water out there, definitely. Wish we could have caught bigger fish, but hey, we're here. We'll be back again next year. Well, the thing I like about this tournament is this is like home to me. I grew up in a little small community uh, in Eastern North Carolina, Richlands, and lived in Wilmington when I first started tournament fishing, and have a house in Wilmington now. So I could really call this home. You know, I can leave out of my our dock the day before the tournament fished off the topsail and realized the fish weren't there. We decided we were going to fish down off of the shoals here and uh, knew where the bait were and you know, it's, like, it's like being at home. It's like Jesus used to say, couldn't perform miracles in your own hometown. It doesn't seem like I can win a tournament here in my own hometown. You have great weather and you've got the same capability of catching fish on an 18-foot boat here that you do on a triple engine boat that runs 70 miles an hour like ours because the fish are so close to the beach. As the guy today that, that not just the third place, he was fishing right in the inlet and you can fish there in an 18 foot boat just as easy as you can fish there in a 38 foot boat. We've been very fortunate and blessed to, to have placed as high as we have today in the win third place, so we're, we're really excited about it.
on behalf of the U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament Board of Directors in the Southport Oak Island Area Chamber of Commerce, welcome to the 43rd Annual U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament Awards Ceremony. Third place, four zero point three five pounds. Third place, General TWT. Second place, TWT High Roller. Second place, TWT Super High Roller. Once again, that weight is four zero point three five. Everett Cameron winning eighty thousand one hundred fifty seven dollars. Team Fountain, Atlantic Beach. Second place, 44.10 pounds. Second place, TWT General. First place, High Roller. First place, Super High Roller. Largest check that this tournament has ever written. $133,900. Little Crazy out of Merle's Inlet. We uh we went in this tournament, we had a game plan and we, we stuck to it and thank the Lord it paid off and you know here we are sitting here in second place and uh got a nice paycheck with uh, a bunch of guys who know how to fish and you know we're ready to go back next year and have a good time. That's right. Been awesome. Good times, good fishing, good friends. That's right, that's right. And now to the moment that you've all been waiting for. First place in the 2021 U.S. Open King Mackerel Tournament presented by the Southport Oak Island Area Chamber of Commerce. First place, TWT General. First place, TWT Single Engine with a weight of 45.00 pounds. Cameron Yao winning $58,830, bare necessities. Took a little while to catch bait, but we finally got some bait. Got out, I missed a short strike early, but very next fish pretty early was uh, the one that put us on top. The Bradley was our Got on the reel, and he handled it for us, and got us to the boat, and we got a gap in him finally, and it took two of us to drag him in the boat, but there we are. I didn't know what I had on the line until I saw color in the water. Then from there, it was just muscling them in the boat. So just glad to get it done in about 30 minutes' time. So. Here we are. We are the winners of the U.S. Open. <laughs> Yeah. Once again, thank, thanks to everybody. Thank the community. Thank y'all for coming out and supporting. Thanks to all the anglers. Great tournament this year. And I hope to see each and every one of y'all back again next year for an even bigger year in 2022. Thank y'all very much and have a good evening. Thank y'all. <laughs>